Hey, welcome back. Jeff Hagee, Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being with me today. So with my uh, Mindset Secrets Academy, I had the opportunity to be talking to someone today about some of the different modules. And we got talking about in module one, when we start a conversation around the momentum cycle, the success cycle, and the importance and need for confidence and courage. And so I'm, I want to talk about confidence and courage today, but I want to start by telling you a story. So you remember, I've probably talked about it a number of times, that I used to be a professional rodeo cowboy. And I used to steer wrestle. So if you've never watched rodeo, you don't know what that is. What it is, is you're on a horse and you've got another guy on a, on a horse on the other side and you've got a steer running in between the two of you and you're going full speed on your horse and you slide off your horse onto the back of a steer, onto its horns, and you wrestle it to the ground. That's basically a quick version of what it is. Well, you can imagine that's a lot of adrenaline. A horse that's running 30, 40 miles an hour and you're jumping off onto the horns of another animal. Well, I wanna tell you how I got started. So my older brother, was a cowboy. He was riding saddle bronc, not saddle bronc, he was riding bareback. And then he got into calf roping and started doing some other things and got into steer wrestling. Well, when I was in high school, I started calf roping and I started team roping. And I always wanted to steer wrestle, but you know, it's, there's something to it. It's riding a horse full speed and jumping onto the horns of a steer. But one day I decided that it was something that I really wanted to do and so I called him up one day and I said, Todd, I need you to teach me how to steer wrestle. And he said, okay, next time we go practice, I'll let you know and you can come out and we'll teach you. And I said, well, no, actually I need you to teach me before Friday because I entered a rodeo. So rather than let myself get worked up and scared about it, I entered a rodeo and then I called him and said, okay, you need to teach me now. <laughs> and so we went, we went to the arena and they talked me through everything, told me everything I had to do and explained how it had to happen. You know, they st stood the horse next to a fence and I practiced how I'd get off and that sort of thing. But that's a lot different than getting on a horse that's running full speed and jumping off onto the horns of a steer. So they said, okay, here's how it works. You're allowed to just ride by and not jump off if you're too scared. You're allowed to do that twice. But if you continue to do it, you're gonna get more and more scared and then you're not gonna jump off. And so after the second time, if you do that two times in a row, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie a lasso around your waist. And if you ride by, we're pulling you off anyways. <laughs> so in my mind, would I rather jump off onto the steer or would I rather have them pull me off the horse as the horse is going full speed down the arena? Well, I wanted to, I, I wanted to get that fear out of the way right from the get go. So I actually was lucky enough and I guess I could say I had enough courage at that moment that the very first steer that I practiced on, I jumped off the horse. And you know what? That really changed everything from that point on because that initial fear and I tell you, there was a lot of fear doing it. I overcame it. And so I wanna use that as an example, just to share some information on what courage is, what confidence is, and those things. You know, Dan Sullivan told a story about courage and fear and um, those things. And he says his lesson from it is, fear is wetting your pants and courage is doing what you're supposed to do with wet pants. And I thought that was a great quote because yeah, I'm sure I was wet in my pants as I was jumping off a horse going 40 miles an hour, but I did it anyways. Um, and he also said, you know, courage is never comfortable. And I think that's something, you know, as we talk about my mindset courses, that's something that you've got to realize is a lot of these things, the mindset is getting you there, but you've got to realize that courage is uncomfortable because, you know, if, if it wasn't uncomfortable, it's just something normal. And so it's those things that are taking you out of your comfort zone that 
a lot of people don't want to do. And those are the things that are going to help you find success. And so you need to have that courage. And, you know, oftentimes courage is uh, depicted as a person feeling absolutely certain about taking action in a situation. Um, but that's not courage, that's confidence. And so that's what I want to kind of start talking about the difference uh, between courage and confidence. And again, going back to a quote from Dan Sullivan, he said, the difference between courage and confidence is that confidence feels good. Courage is doing what you're supposed to do despite the discomfort and lack of confidence. So confidence doesn't come until you've earned it and you've earned it through having courage first. And so one, one of the things, you know, the reality for most entrepreneurs and high achievers and those that are taking my mindset um, secrets academy is that you've got to take action despite fear. You've got to take action despite not feeling certain and not feeling that things are right and not feeling confident. And that's how you're going to build your confidence. Because when you take action and you create the results, that's when your confidence is going to grow. And, you know, in, in module one of the Mindset Secrets Academy, that's one of the things we talk about. We also talk about creating results ahead of time um, through practice. You know, I, if you've taken my momentum training, um, it's free at jeffhagey.com. But I talk about a story about Clay Thompson and how he had confidence in his shooting because of how much he's practiced throughout his lifetime. But that's something that you've really got to do is what you can practice ahead of time will give you confidence for when you're in a performance. Um, now, the other part is that when you, if you look more closely at the uncertain situations you've conquered that have given you that confidence, Dan Sullivan again says, there's, you're going to recognize a pattern. One, you've committed to a result. Two, you've had the courage to move forward. Three, out of that came some capabilities that you needed. And four, when you achieve the result, you're awarded with the confidence. And so this is, you know, we go into a lot more detail, but in module one of um, the High Achievers Mindset Secrets Academy, these are the things we talk about. How you create that momentum cycle, that success cycle, and how you create the confidence ahead of time so that you can perform at your peak. And when things aren't going well, how you win back that confidence. But, you know, courage and confidence are so tied together because you need the courage to build that confidence. And, you know, you look at when I was sea wrestling, it took a lot of courage to, one, even make that call and say, hey, you need to teach me how to steer wrestle by Friday. And two, to jump off the back of a horse running full speed onto the horns of another animal. Um, so I want you to think about, are there situations that you're not acting on because you don't have the courage to move forward? Are there things that you want to achieve, but something is holding you back? What do you need to commit to a result, to have the courage to move forward, and then have the capabilities to go do it? I want you to think of that, and I'd love to have some comments. Send me a DM, comment on this wherever you're listening to it, but I'd love to hear from you. Um, and again, you know, talking about my High Achievers Mindset Secrets Academy, if this is something that sounds like it's something that you need, whether you're a high achiever, an entrepreneur, or an athlete, a coach, and I did just put a offer out there that I have created a team program with it that I can work with athletic teams and it does amazing things for them. But if any of this is a fit for you, send me a DM, say I'm interested, and let's set up a free 45 minute strategy session and look at how these things can be implemented into your life and help you. You know, what is it that you're not acting on? We can talk about those things and talk about how you can implement these things so that you can start taking action and getting closer to your goals and take that courage and build confidence. So thank you for being with me again today. Hope you're having a great day. Please share this with someone else. I'd appreciate that, but thanks and we will see you in the morning.